Welcome to Love for Wearables. Wearable technology is the next step in digital evolution and gaining tremendous popularity after President Obama wore one for an official meeting. Oh, yeah. You should listen to the president. Today, we will showcase a few interesting wearable gadgets from the past. We have had wearables since the mythological times, but we are just reviewing the ones from recent past. Number five is Dick Tracy's two-way wrist radio from the 1960s. Tracy to kids. Tracy to kids. It's here at last, the new Dick Tracy two-way wrist radio that keeps you in constant touch with your buddies. The idea that one could wirelessly transmit and receive messages was made popular by Chester Gould's comic strip plainclothes cop, Dick Tracy. Take your positions. Okay, boys, let's go. The favorite wrist radio remains a cultural touchstone and a handy reference point for journalists till date. Dad, Dad, I found a bear's cave. Be right down, son. Available on Amazon for $550 only. Oh, wait, what? $550? Let's see if President Obama would like to buy one. Frankly, I don't buy it. Number four is the calculator wristwatch. An amazing electronic breakthrough. A watch so unbelievable, so incredible, so revolutionary. Wait, it reminds me of something. Remarkable innovation. Incredible ability, incredibly beautiful. Ah, never mind. Introducing the Multicron 20 function calculator watch. It's so advanced it replaces all of this. So what the heck is this? This watch is a piece of pop culture history. It has made appearances everywhere, from Mr. Bean to Walter White to even Dennis Nethery have been seen wearing one. Guess something to do with the nerdy characters. This watch has more than 21 functions. Let's see what John Cena has got to say about this gadget. How old were you when this was going? Early when you were about 20s. Okay. And I was a John, you are lucky. This watch is still available at $16 only. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Number three is an extension of the calculator wristwatch, the Casio Data Bank. My husband's a sweetheart, but he can't remember a thing. That's why I got him a Casio Data Bank watch and Casio Data Calculator. What's your phone number, Walter? Um, uh, 555 <laughs> When's our anniversary? Uh, it's, um, <clears throat> tomorrow. Very good, Walter. To remember card numbers, access codes up to 50 things, get a Casio. Now Walter can forget about having to remember anything. Almost. Casio. They are available for $25 only. Number two is the all-time favorite Sony Walkman. Thumbs up if you had one. Sony's iconic cassette player kick-started the portable music revolution. Before the iPod was even a thought, Sony had sold hundreds of millions of this favorite cassette player. Sony introduces the only cassette player as small as a cassette case. The incredible sounding Super Walkman. All thanks to Sony, people were able to enjoy their favorite tunes throughout the day without missing a beat. Thanks to the new Super Walkman from Sony, the world's smallest cassette player. If you want to add it to your favorites, go get it. Number one is the bone phone. Music in your bones. Well, a Northbrook inventor has made it a reality. It is a portable radio, except that you wear it around your neck. And seeing this is not believing it. Based on sound induction, it claimed that it could send music through your bones and directly into your head. Don't believe us? Listen to the founders. The man who invented the bone phone is Bill Hass. He's an avid skier. And he wanted some way to listen to stereo music while skiing. He felt portable headphones were too cumbersome. So he came up with this. The portable stereo you wear like a scarf. Honestly, it's just a scarf with speakers in it. Some people say this might be the hula hoop of the 80s, but it is an expensive hula hoop, $69. Frank Matthew, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. <laughs> Man, sounding good. Yes, of course, it's an iconic gadget from the 80s whose users raved about its amazing sound quality. Would the president like to try it? Generally speaking, I, I got some other stuff to do. It means no? Oh, yeah. That's all for now. We'll be back next week with our next favorite list, wearables from the movies. Stay tuned. Eject to see you're joking. I never joke about my work, 007.